I have good news for you today. God is going to restore your blessings. Every blessing you lost is coming back to you and it will come in double folds. Every area of your life will experience the blessings and favor of the Lord in the name of Jesus. The days of weeping and crying is over because the Lord has remembered you and you will experience blessings all days of your life. The blessed shall call you blessed. People will look at your life and give glory to God because He is about to restore all your blessings. The Bible says that the Lord will restore all the days that the locusts have eaten. You will experience all brown favor and blessings in the name of Jesus. When life seems unbearable, it is very easy to feel the Lord has forgotten about you, but never for once has He forgotten about you. He never sleeps nor slumber. He knew you even before you were born, and He knows a number of hairs on your head. From this day onwards, blessings will be your portion. You will count your blessings, naming them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. All those that hated you will come back and celebrate you because the hands of the Lord are upon you and His blessings will follow you all the days of your life. The blessings of the Lord adds no sorrow. It will take you to greater heights. The blessings that God is about to restore to you is the one that will change your life completely. You will be so amazed at what God is going to do in your life. Has your family been experiencing setback? God will restore the blessings of your family. Every spirit of lack and poverty is destroyed in your life in the name of Jesus. When men are saying there is a casting down, you and your household will say there is a lifting up. The Lord will provide all your needs according to His riches and glory. No sickness shall befall your family. And if there is anyone that has been suffering from an illness, the Lord is about to restore good health to them. The blessings of the Lord will be so profound that you will be a blessing to others. Whatever has taken away the peace and joy of your family, the Lord shall restore it in double folds. This is the season of jubilation and merriment in your family in the name of Jesus. Have people mocked you because of your present situation? The Lord will restore your blessings. Wherever you go, the favor of the Lord will go before you. You will find favor with man and with God. Every job opportunity you have missed, you will get a better one. That You will be grateful you missed the previous one. You will grow from grace to grace and from strength to strength. Every disappointment in your life will become a blessing. Your mates may have gone ahead of you. But because the Lord has promised you restoration, you will overtake in the name of Jesus. The blessings of the Lord will never depart from you. The Bible says that when a man's way is right before God, then he will cause even his enemies to be at peace with him. And your enemies will be at peace with you because the blessings of the Lord will be so evident in your life. You will never lack. You may have been living in want, but that is about to change. Because all those years you had to go through lack, the Lord will restore them back with abundant blessings in the name of Jesus. You may have been battling with one situation or the other. It could be an illness. Can you remember the man blind from birth? All his life, he had to live with that every day. But when his day of restoration came, God blessed him with good sight. It does not take God anything to change the entire life of a man in a day. So do not think that your situation is too big because you have a big God. The one that sees the end from the beginning, the Lion of the tribe of Judea, the bright and morning star. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There is absolutely nothing too difficult for him to do. The doctors may have said, your illness is incurable, but the Lord is going to break protocol on your behalf. Always put your trust in God because He is capable and what is difficult for Him does not exist. 
the Lord will lift you and bless you beyond your wildest imagination. There are so many people in the Bible that went through a lot, but when their time of restoration came, the Lord blessed them abundantly. Nothing should make you give up on God, because it always pays to serve God, and those who put their trust on the Lord will never be put to shame. Just the way the Lord restored everything that Job had lost, He will restore all you have lost in the name of Jesus. It is very difficult to trust and wait on the Lord when nothing seems to be going well. A lot of people went astray, but they could no longer endure the hardship. But remember that God did not promise us a smooth journey, but He will be with us all the way. Weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. You may have gone through a lot of weeping nights, but your restoration morning has come and the Lord will bless you. Our God never sleeps nor slumbers. He sees all that you have been going through and He has chosen to restore all your blessings. All things you were not able to achieve, you will achieve them because nothing will be impossible. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. God loves you so much and that is why He has heard all your prayers. All those times you cried, the Lord will restore them with unending joy. Happiness will never cease from your life and you will not be able to remember all days you lived in pain and sorrow. Whatever you have been trusting the Lord for, He will give it to you. He never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and if He did it before, He can still do it again. However, if you want God to restore your blessings, your ways must be right before Him. Job was a righteous man. Joseph, the son of Jacob, was a righteous man. Our God is too holy to behold sin, and if you want the blessings of God, then you have to live a holy and righteous life. That is why the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. God should always come first, because when you have Christ, then you have everything because he is the owner of the entire universe. When the Lord asked Solomon to name whatever he wanted, he did not ask for material things because he understood that if your ways are right before God, every other thing is an added plus. Therefore, I urge you, beloved, to live a holy life, build a strong relationship with God, and always try to spend time with him. God wants to be involved in every area of your life, and if you make Jesus your friend, you will never regret it because you will be limitless. God will restore your blessings in the name of Jesus.